everyone, and welcome to the Hunger Games. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the adventures of Catpiss Evergreen. Let's get started. I had a lot of hopes for the Hunger Games. One of the first like action books with a female heroine. The disappointing part is it's not that cool. I mean, yeah, the concept is interesting. I dig the part about doing another battle royale in a post-apocalyptic world, but we want to see more adventures of this badass chick. The problem is she's not really a badass. She goes around, she's doing things in the forest. She kills a deer in the beginning. That's pretty much the most adventure that happens. And I'm offended by the deer killing because I'm a vegan. I'd feel better if she just like killed a tree or something. The rest of it, she's basically just being told what to do by a bunch of old dudes. She falls in love with this teenage boy named Peta. Like the bread, I guess. Like where his parents British and just didn't know how to spell. All the names in this book are weird anyway. What's up with that? Then she like has a super hot boyfriend at home. She's like, time and she doesn't. Anyway, there's no sex. And those guys are pretty much hormones personified. If I was in the Hunger Games, I'd be like, oops, where did my dress go? Must have been sucked out of this arena by some weird device. But that doesn't happen. They keep their clothes on the whole book. I guess you gotta sell the book to kids and you know, you don't wanna give kids ideas about sex because it's not like they're gonna think of that on their own. One star for the hot boyfriend, that's it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll check me out next time on Destiny's Book Club. And hopefully next time I'll be talking about something more fun, right? <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you about one of the most famous books of all time, even more famous than The Da Vinci Code.